Yo, what up? I think I might as well just start now, because I've got some some ground to make up from last time. This mouse sensitivity seems weird. It was the same as last time. Okay, I'll just deal with it. I forgot to start the timer. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. That is such a difficult section. Also, a little update on the, the mic stand. Uh, it's going to be coming tomorrow because I actually picked a different one I want to use. And I think it'll just be better in the long run, the one I picked. Or the new one I picked. So, I'll hopefully have that all done by Thursday.
nice. I don't know how I did that. That was crazy. I don't know why. Every time I see that painting down there, I always like see it in the corner of my eye. And I think it's Maurice from from Madagascar. I don't know why. Is he even from Madagascar? Could have sworn he was. No, he definitely is, because King Julian definitely says Maurice at some point. And he says it in his own King Julian way. That you really just can never ever forget. Remember to not swing there.
Didn't think it would get hooked on there. Why did I do that?
Wow. I have no idea how I did that. <gasps> what? <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Foot is getting numb. It's getting hard to focus with that. Alright. I was like doing that thing where you kind of sit on your own foot, but you don't realize that it's going to make your foot numb and feel weird until like it actually happens. And then you're like, oh, why did I do that? You know? I made it on there. Uh. 
Ooh, there I go. got hooked on there somehow. I really need to avoid keeping the hammer out. I really need to just like launch and just hope for the best. I guess that happens sometimes. Thank you. 
I thought my hammer would, like, you know, go over my head. Instead, it just did that. I guess I, I think I just needed to put more of an arc into it. I think it was just my reactions not being quick enough to work in the the way it was supposed to. That's unfortunate. That's even more unfortunate.
This rock that I'm on kind of looks like a dinosaur. I need water. This is a stressful section. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if the jump scare repeats here, so just a little bit of warning. I feel like it probably doesn't. Cool. <laughs> I don't know how I let that happen. But, I now have a strategy to get up there. I have a strategy that isn't just throwing myself at the rocks and seeing if it works.
That worked, I guess. What? Okay. I was like, why am I stuck? do that <laughs> that's that's where trouble comes in his body's clipping through the pot need to not do that either why'd i do that was a lot more than I wanted. Whoop. 
that happen. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> that was too close. Welcome to the Overridge Show. What up, Sky? Oh yeah, I have a strategy now for getting over those rocks. I've been using it and it has been pretty successful. And it seems to be consistent. That was cool. Yeah, for getting over those rocks. That is a Bennett Foddy moment. Ugh. That's pretty much what this is right now, because I turned off the narrator, which I think is Bennett Foddy? Or do you mean, like, not having the player character? How could I? He just kept quoting Shakespeare. It got annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. No Bennett involvement with the game whatsoever. So the game just evaporates. What's my world record? It's, uh, oh, in general? I think, I think back then I had the world record for some 
some like really short Mario 64 hack. I don't remember what it was. Oh, for all things? Um, well, I guess the world record's still being written. This game is a Mario 64 act. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm able to wall jump. Do you think there's mods for this game? You know, actually, it's funny that you mentioned that, Sky. There actually was a Mario 64 ROM hack. Is um, There's a Mario 64 ROM hack that is, uh, like, based on this game. <laughs> I might play that at some point. Please play it. Okay, I probably will. Oh my god. There I go. I'm playing it right now. This is Mario 64. I go everywhere. Mod for the game to give Pot Guy a wee blunt. Aw oh, yeah. Now that is what I want. I just want a mod for this game that just gives this guy a Mario hat. And that's it. That That's the only change. There's no sound changes, no nothing, just give him a Mario hat. Wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. section is so stressful. Thank you. Okay. Been playing Pokemon Arceus. I've like thought about maybe getting that, but I also don't have a lot of <laughs> a lot of money right now, so I don't know if I could get it. Yeah, it's cool. It's nice that it's it's been good. Bronto get drink? Bronto get dinner? Win? Winning? Just 
I almost royally fucked up. I swear that was that hammer was probably one pixel away from sending me to hell. Oh my god. Also, Sky, do you agree that this rock up here, this one, kind of looks like a dinosaur head? I think one of the things I like about this game is how you can be as precise as you really need to. Which you know is, is kind of important in a game like this. take off my headphones just in case that jump scare happens to repeat Re repeat repeat I don't know but I guess just like a little warning just in case I don't know if it re if it repeats or not yeah I like I like it being precise that way it feels more like anything bad that happens is more my fault than the game's fault Wow, it does repeat. That's insane. I hate it even more. right now. Imagine if it just did it again right now. By the way, I hope the jump scare wasn't like too loud, you know? I do have a limiter on my audio, so it should be okay. Uppies? Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, I am in joy, bliss, even. Why is there a top hat?
Woo! How do I get up here? Hat. Hat. Whoa! That was cool. Oh shit, anvil. Oops. I don't know what's down there. Watch for rolling rocks. Like I said, it's a Mario 64 ROM hack. Whoa. down there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I messed that up. I'm not pushing it down fast enough. They're the same as humans, except they have another thumb on the other side of their hands. I want that to be the... I want that to be real, too. Where am I? I'm going to this rolling rock. That was a joke. That was a not joke. I am flying! Woo! This really is a, a Mario 64 ROM hack. I just did a wall jump. What the fuck? Snowman! You know what? I'll turn up Bennett body. You can come back. But the moment you quote Shakespeare, I'm meeting you again. This is your, your only warning, Bennett. What was that spark? I am making a sword here. What? 
feel like this is the hardest jump in the entire game. Oh yeah, I looked up the the control R thing that Sib Zombie was trying to get me with yesterday. Apparently, that used to be a thing that you could you could do on first time runs. And apparently some people got tricked with it. And it actually got changed so that it only works on subsequent runs so it's like for speedrunners to be able to reset quickly i think it's like it's because it's my first run nothing's gonna happen what if it just happened right there i like just realized what could have happened if what i read was somehow a lie what if it just happened right there that would have been awesome Yep, please. Thank you. Telephone. Okay, I don't... Oh, I can't go up here. Wait, what? What is this? Are those my my other pots that I have left here? Let's see what's up here. Uh, that looks like somewhere I cannot go. Is my gravity lower? It feels like I'm going higher. some water. I'm shocked that I made it like that. Cool. <laughs> I open my mouth and I fail.
I just realized where I am. I'm very high. Probably above where I was stuck earlier. If I f fall, that's probably not going to be very good. We have the same taste, you and I. It's not ambition. It's ambition's opposite. An obdurate mission Ooh. to taste defeat. You'll feel bad if you win, so I put this snake in for you. I do not trust you, Bennett. No? Okay. It's gonna be a very rare moment where I will actually be very mad if I fall. Because I spent a lot of time to get up here. Oh my god. Do not bounce me like that. Oh my god. Go from the right, left, right, left, left, light, the light side. Ugh. <laughs> this is Bucket World. I'm gonna wait for it to stop. I like how the artist list for this song is so long. It just takes, it just scrolls by so quickly. No. God damn it. I understand what the challenge here is. I need to swing from that bucket and land on that thing up there. That thing. Uh, I don't, I don't feel confident about that. The snake? Eh. The sign does say, do not ride snakes, so like, I don't know. I think, oh, I think I'll trust the sign on this one. Do you trust this game? You think it's trying to lie me? It would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
You think a game where the narrator is quoting Shakespeare would lie to me? Shakespeare is the number one source of misinformation. <laughs> that is a good point. Wasn't there a whole thing about like people weren't even sure that Shakespeare existed or something? I don't know. I feel like Going to space is a better idea than riding the snake. And also considering how physics work. That seemed... I just noticed that that's actually like a snake. I thought it was just a twig. <laughs> like I thought it was just a rope. And also... I don't know if you've heard of snakes and ladders. But snakes usually make you go down. And if I can use my brain... My big brain that I have. I think I can assume the same fate. The snake could take me to space. I don't even know what I was doing there. I was riding the bucket. Snakes make you go up in real life. Yeah, I remember when... I remember seeing a snake... deadlift someone. <laughs> What if the bucket ended up getting caught up here? No. Then what would I would I do? Dude, I didn't mean to hit that. Now I have to wait five years for it to slow down. If you follow long distance to this area, then write it. As funny as that would be, I... It's taken me a while to get up here. I usually do funny things for comedic reasons. But I think something like this... I gotta get it done. That rock section. Do I even know how far the snake may take you? Well, yeah. Of course I know. The loop around to the same area. I don't see an exit from the snake. I'm just going to be honest. You know, if a sign says, do not ride snake, I can only assume that riding said snake will have very disastrous consequences. That was close. <sighs> that was a bit too close. <laughs> Spongebob crying. I would love to do that. What what emote would that replace though? Because I'm full on emote slots. Check my reward queue just in case someone redeems something. No. I need to make sure like no one redeemed 
like a 50 50 oh wait no that wouldn't happen because that would need to be on stream like the 50 50 rewards oh my god okay that wasn't as far as i thought i was gonna fall thank god <laughs> Might as well ride the snake at this point. I can't do it. I do things for the funnies, but not that funnies. Dude, I can ride the hat though. I almost got it out of my head. <gasps> Give me a second. My achievement. Okay. Get out of here. I want to just like s slam this away. Ha! That'll work. I don't know why I just have the need or the want to mention this, but I got the Wordle today in like three tries. Or it was like two or three tries. And I'm just proud of myself. Wordle today was so easy. I did it at 3 a.m. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. strategy for Wordle where I will always put boats as my first word because I just feel like that word has the most like vowels and consonants and like where they're most common or they'll have some of the most common vowels and consonants. It usually works pretty well. Your first word is always bitch. That's also a good one.
Also, I never really realized how fun Cookie Clicker is when you actually do the ascension sim the uh, ascensions. Because, like, every time you reincarnate, it does the thing where, like, you know, you get the... You can get the the cookies per second increase based on how many heavenly chips you have or had. And like every time I reincarnate, I'll, you know, like get some cookies and then the upgrade will pop up. That's like unlock 5% of your ascension cookies per second. And then my cookies per second jumps from like 10 to 3 million. <laughs> Until I get all the the use your ascension cookies per second upgrades and it's like four quadrillion. <laughs> and it's like, oh cool. Now I just buy everything. Oh my god, I was hammer skating. Oh no, I <laughs> No, I was just talking about <laughs> I was talking about Cookie Clicker reincarnation. Yeah, cookies per second in real life would be really cool too. Like imagine imagine the amount of money you get in like your bank account. And I don't know, you get some little post-it note that says pay five dollars to increase your dollars per second by the your ascension dollars per second and then your bank account jumps from fifteen dollars to three million <laughs> okay <laughs> cool <laughs> I was wondering when that was gonna happen <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way louder honestly I thought it was so much louder. That was nothing. Like what? I thought it was going to be way louder than that. That was just like... Yeah. <laughs> that jump scare sound is really funny though. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I think... Having a jump scare there after it already happens is like, that's okay, because there's pretty much no risk of losing progress at this point. Or not like a serious amount of progress. I still don't like the one earlier though. I think that's still a bit much. But just getting it randomly there was kind of funny. <laughs> no. Sky, did you notice the little screenshot in the bottom left? If I was playing this game, I'd be going no <laughs> all day. <laughs> I will remember this. I didn't notice it. What the hell is this? It's me wearing the hat. I want a giant oversized hat like that. I don't care how much it would cost. I don't care how much time I would need to spend to get it. I want something like that. Yeah, hat world, exactly. head out of here. What? How? 
How this happened? <laughs> there it goes. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. Turned to Bucket World. Fuck. God, <laughs> imagine if that bucket somehow picked me up and tossed me off the world. That would be both awful and awesome, because I would just be impressed that the game could even do that. I was joking. I was joking. Okay. That's a good strategy for getting the bucket to stay still, just landing on it. Mm. 
No. Okay. Uh, this section is hard. Like, this is genuinely difficult. Oh my god. What? My head was stuck? No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Drink of water. Been talking for too long. Do I have to bounce off of that? Because if so, that is insane. I can bucket it. Slam dunk. That was crazy. <laughs> what is that emote? Lunchables. <laughs> That's awesome.
Is it like at all possible to like get up onto that second ledge? I feel like it's not. I feel like I have to make this jump. supposed to get up here oh like that I guess I feel like this is gonna be the most annoying part of this entire game way of doing this. Am I like about to go to the palace of the ice ruler or something? Okay, it seems like there's like spots where it seems to hook on like here. what I'm noticing. I'm noticing that there's there's sections where it very very much so like hooks onto it. It is a nice pick. But I think I'm using the oh. <laughs> I almost had a one way ticket to shit. I don't even know what I just said, but I was scared. Yeah, I almost went down to Snake World USA. Is this even in the USA? This game? It should be. What? <laughs> Why did I say should be? I feel like it would be. Cause like, I think, I think there's ice mountains and the USA United Snakes of America Shit Snake World <laughs> Snake World should be the 51st state of the United States Sorry the United Snakes about how 
strong this man must be in order to be able to lift himself and a pot with only a hammer and his two hands. Because I imagine those don't, those aren't very light. Do you think anyone's ever figured out the weight of this man? What? Zero thousand pounds. That is true. This man does seem to be a very light thing. So I just kind of assume that the pot is like a part of his body. Because like that would just kind of make sense. the hook the little, the little nook where the the hammer would go in i couldn't find it This is this third one is hard to find. Oh, there it is. so weird because like if you oh if you even just so much as just barely push too much he just starts falling or he he starts getting lifted it's kind of annoying honestly it's so incredibly precise like to an absurd level Around 
here. Yep. Now the question is, is there even another little nook like this one? I guess there's only one way to find out. Get back in there, please. Thank you. Actually, Diogenes. I use hand. I use the top of his hammer. I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man. Nor the man's hand. In this year, his will, his intent, the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent. I thought that was going to be a quote. <laughs> I thought he was quoting someone. I guess that is kind of true. Because if it wasn't for me, this man wouldn't be trying to climb a, a giant ice block in front of a house, I think. I think that's a house. I can't <laughs> I can't really tell. Oh my god.
Sorry, I'm not talking much. This just requires an unbelievable amount of focus. I mean, there was a notch right here. I'm mad. Did I try and save myself? Shopping cart. Now, you've conquered the ice cliff, the platforms, the church, and the rectory. 
the living room and the factory, the playground, the construction site, the granite rocks and the lakeside. You have learned to hike. There's nowhere left to go but up, and in a moment I'll shut up. But let me say, I'm glad you came. Thanks, Bennett. Still never gonna forgive you for that stupid jump scare, though. It's really dumb. I don't think it should have been in the game. I feel like I'm never gonna let that go. Turn music off moment. All right. What? All right. Just in case there's music for the game. been upset if that <laughs> made me fall all the way down. How long does it usually take people to beat this game? I feel like it has to be a, like at least seven hours for some people. wasn't letting me jump. That was weird.
I think this vertical climb is <laughs> looking like it's going to be the most annoying section of this game. Just, it's just so, it's so easy to accidentally launch yourself horizontally. Unless there's just like something I'm not doing right. That is true. At least I don't go super far. But it is still like annoying, you know? Yeah, the snow part isn't that bad. The snow part was more like it was tedious than like difficult, I would say. But like this section feels like this section feels like I'm working I have to work against the physics of the game itself in order to make progress. At least that shopping cart is there. I think if that shopping cart wasn't there, then I would definitely be going into the snow part more often. But I think the shopping cart being there means I can stop my momentum earlier and present, prevent myself, not present myself, prevent myself from getting launched into the snow area again. Come on. You have to get such a, a good angle there. I don't think I could have. I probably could have made that actually. Tried to readjust. I feel like I shouldn't be able to hook on that. I hooked on... I hooked on this part of the circle. I feel like that shouldn't be possible. That just doesn't seem right to me. I had the right idea. Down a feeling. Oops, that was my bad. Ooh. I accidentally launched myself bit too horizontal. Mm. 
not high enough. Put on the most epic Animal Crossing music if I want some. I've got an idea. I accidentally opened something. Okay. I bounced myself. No, I was there. I didn't... I thought I launched myself enough. <laughs> I was here. myself super high.
Did I do it? Did I do it? Go! Bring me to victory! Uh oh. I did it. I did it. Woo! What? I'm up there now. Oh, man. <laughs> Public domain as far as I... This is making my fingers hurt. This away. I'm going where the children never blow. Oh really? You can still play the game? I didn't know you could still play sexy hiking. I'm going where the children never blows. And I ain't gonna be treated this away. Tez are golfing. I'm going down this road feeling bad. Lord, I'm going down this road. Sorry about that one time when you got all the way to the top and fell all the way to the bottom. Thank you. You know what? I'll give you I'll give you some claps. Good job, Bennett Foddy. That was a good that was a fun experience. I'm glad I finally played this. How did he write the credits in a notebook and then transfer them to screen? I don't know. Oh. Four hours, 26 minutes, and 13 seconds. Uh. Yeah. Okay.
Oh, there's souvenirs. Well. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I didn't. I didn't show anything. <laughs> Non-streamer only area. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> wow. I am. That was cool. That was a great. That was a great game. I'm very, very happy that I played that. And said, don't enter if you're showing this to anyone else. Only you can enter. Uh, yeah, that is true. Um. Apparently, Linkus is streaming on his casual channel. But I don't think I'll rate him. I don't think I'll rate him. Um. Or should I rate him? Linkus is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll rate. I'll rate Linkus. Um. Actually, no. Never mind. I don't think I want to rate anyone tonight. If anyone's streaming that you want to watch, then go ahead. But I think that's it from me. Um, Thursday, I think I'm going to Linkus Stinkus. Um, I think I'm going to be doing banjo kazooie on switch on thursday so that's gonna be fun i've never played banjo kazooie and it'll be a fun first time experience for that so yeah i think i will see you then all right Bye-bye.